don't get it twisted. This isn't about cost of living, discontents, no jobs. Yeah. This, 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 it's, 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 it's very simple. This is about opportunist thugs unleashing their racism. It's as simple as that. Because I don't, so when I hear people in the news saying, well, no, let's not have a more nuanced approach. Let's wait when this is about, the police are ex exacerbating the situation. Um, so guys, I believe that's a, a police, let's say that an ambulance or a police van there. You are setting fire to the authorities there to help you. You are attacking authority. And I'll, and I'll get back to attacking authority. I'll get back to it today. But guys, let's just be very clear here. This is about racism. These are guys who have taken an opportunity to now attack black people, attack Asian people. So please do not get it twisted, man. No, no, no. This is this is this this is not the same as Black Lives Matter. This was about because police killed a black man. 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 Oh no, no, no. This is, this is too much. Boom. And we are, remember, we are peacefully protesting. We're not burning police vehicles. We're not throwing bricks at police. We're not attacking police. We're not yanking policemen off of their, their bikes. We are protesting peacefully. That is very different from where from the get-go, you are attacking law enforcement. From the get-go, you're attacking law enforcement. You're very lucky that this isn't America. You do realize that if you attack law enforcement, they're well within their right to use the full force of their power to knock your head in and to completely and totally pimp slap you and beat the living crap out of you. If you're in talk law, attack law enforcement. So these thugs in England, you're very lucky you're not in America, where these guys, they are well trained and they are eager to beat the living crap out of you. <laughs> They're eager to beat the living crap out of you. So how did this all start? Because I know I did another video, but guys, this started because of the very horrendous act of this satanic, hellish psycho who killed young innocent kids. So before we even knew of the individual, whether he was black, whether he was Asian, whether he was, before we even knew of anything, these psychos went to attack a mosque. We didn't even know whether he was Asian or whether he was Muslim. So we actually found out he's actually Christian. <laughs> so even before, so from the get-go, they were waiting to do this. So this was never about their anger about their kids. If it was anger about... Um, whoever did this to the kids, you would at least wait to see, oh, who, who did this? Who was the perpetrator? Okay, let's go. So you were just going off of rumor because you were eager to unleash your racism and your racial hatred towards Asians, towards blacks. But let's stay on topic. So this is what we know. So you're against migrants. Because I need to know, are you against first-generation migrants, guys coming in, or are you against second-generation migrants? Because... I'm hearing stop the boats, stop migration. So that means you're against migrants. He's a British citizen. He was born in Cardiff in 06 and moved to South Australia in 2013. So he's been in the UK since 2006. That's what, that's what's 18 years. <laughs> you know, so he's been here since two, oh yeah, once 18, so he's been here since 2006. So he's a second generation migrant. So is it now you're against migrants or you're just against anybody even associated to migrants? So second generation, third generation, aha. So if we're now against anybody to do with anything non-white and people who are even just children of migrants, okay then. So let's ship off Saka and Meno. Oh, because they kick a ball around um, because they can play football. No, no, no. Bukayo, um, Bukayo Saka, um, born to immigrants from Nigeria. Kobe Menu, born to immigrants from Ghana. 
So they literally fit into the same mold as the psychopath who went to go and kill those kids. So then let me now hear about you wanting to ship off Saka because I think if you do that, there are many Arsenal fans and England fans who be like, heck no. Oh, Kobe Mano, leave my, you're not, you're not properly British. You are not British, man. You are, you are a foreigner. There are many England fans and many Man United fans who be like, heck no. Many white United fans who be like, hell no. He is fully 100% English. And there are many white English fans like my good friend Bill who be like, heck no. But Kaisaka is fully English. So again, that's where the confusion lies is that what are you fighting for? But, you see, this has been very revealing, guys. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. All of England isn't racist. You shouldn't throw a stereotype over a whole country. That is wrong. That is wrong. But there are a lot more racist people and a lot more racist areas, and there's a much larger element of racism than what people will care to admit. I remember once I'm... Piers Morgan was on The Breakfast Club. He said, that, oh, no, no, there isn't any racism in England. Like, we don't have a racist issue in England. And I was like, wow. Look at this rich, privileged, delusional dude. And for so long, England have tried to separate themselves from America. Say, so, oh, no, no, racism, no, that's an American issue. In England, we don't have the same kind of racism that, that you do. England have almost a very similar racist issue to America. The difference is it's hidden. It's hidden. But with this right now, for some people, they're like, oh, they're shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I know people have felt like this all the way. Because my, my entire school experience was horrific. As a black guy, going living, being in school in England, the amount of racist things said to me, the amount of racist things that was done, the kind of mental abuse it did to me and just how it just affected me psychologically, mentally, going to school every day and dealing with passive aggressive racism and where, remember, this was a time when there was no TikTok, there was no social media, there was no, oh my gosh, being racist is wrong. Being racist was, was, was cool back when I was, so I couldn't even complain to anyone. And even if I was to complain to the teachers, even the teachers are racist. I've told the story of... Um, my geography teacher, Peter Brown, the guy was a racist. <laughs> the guy was, he cle he made racist jokes. He was clearly a racist. So as a, what was that? As an 11, 12 year old, what am I gonna do a, or, or say against when my teacher's racist and his friends with all, all the other guys? So the racism exists in England. And there are people who they just don't like black people. They don't like Asian people, they hate foreigners. And I remember going through school and I was like, yeah, these English people, they don't like foreign people. They do not, they don't like, they don't like foreigners. The amount of racism I saw towards Chinese, every single day, the amount of racist things said against Chinese and Asian people was insane. And these guys, they did nothing. They just come in there, they work hard, do well, but the amount of racism and the hatred and the vitriol that the white guys had towards Chinese people could not bother anybody. It was insane. <laughs> it was insane. So... This, so, this, so when I say it's, it's the reality of England, you know, which is why you like London is like its own country. Of course, oh, there's racism in London, hundred percent. There's racism in London, but I, because I was even having this discussion with my with my brother, because my brother he lives in Birmingham, and he moved from Manchester to Birmingham, and we were like, bro, for those people in Leeds, in Manchester, in Sunderland. Hey, la 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 la. <laughs> there is no way as a black man I'm going where anywhere near those places. That's why for London, you can get up with the racism here because London is a very international city. London is like it's 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 a melting pot of different cultures, which is why I love London so much because it's so it's so multicultural, which is how the world should be. But those places, Sunderland and yeah, so for me, Bristol, Birmingham, cool. I could go there. Manchester, Newcastle, ugh. but guys, this this. So for people who are like, don't, don't be, this is this is England, this is England, and people say, oh, so because someone said on my Twitter that, oh my gosh, the new PM, look at what he has had to deal with. So Keir Starmer, so 
Kestama is at fault for um, that cycle killing all of those kids. So you're saying that mass immigration is as a result of what that individual did because he, this is see, it is peak racism. Peak racism is one guy does the most heinous acts I've ever seen in the history. I told you, the closest thing I saw to what that guy did was um, Sandy Hook in, in America. So one black guy does the most heinous thing I've ever seen happen in England. And now all migrants, all black people, all Asian people are now um, psychopaths and people who want to murder kids. That is the prime example of racism. <laughs> We just take one example, I now paint the brush over a, a whole race of people. That is racism. But the key thing is, that, okay, let's even play your game. Okay, it's a black guy. What does that have to do with Asians? What does that have to do with Muslims? Or what does that have to do with burning down a mosque if he is black? So this, there is no logic here. This is just racism. It's just racism. <laughs> you know? So, but again... This is why I always say to people, this is why I say like, so when you're building a country, so pe people ask like, what are the main things you need, you need in, a, in a country? Like, so if let's say you were starting a country, so army, police, um, um, doctors, teachers, what is the first thing that you have? The first thing you have in your country is an army. You don't have everything. The next thing is a police. Then educators, um, hospital people. But you have to realize that any country could very easily fall into anarchy. <laughs> so this is why you need an army, you need police. Because human beings, at our core, we are animals. At our core, we, are, we, we like to think we're above animals. At our core, we are animals. And we are ever so close to falling into chaos and anarchy. And so, because so years ago, we had the London rats. And that was because like, a black guy was killed by police. And that started off as, oh, we are now ranting based off what the police did by um, killing the um, guy they had in custody, but then spiraled out of control into guys just looting. So the initial thing of why people rioted just now got lashed upon by opportunists. It's the same thing here. Where, so maybe it initially started off by, oh, we are angry at us, what, what happened and everything, but that spiraled into the guys looting, the guys stealing, the guys now attacking police, the guys just now wanting just to cause havoc and just to destroy stuff and go crazy. So it's now spiraled out of control. But again, as I said again, for the police, what do you have a police for? It's for law and, it's for law and order. <laughs> and if you don't instill law and law and order, the, it falls into anarchy. That's why in any, if I'm having a country, I have a strong army, I have a strong police. So people know that law and order exists. <laughs> because if it doesn't have strong law and order, you will have anarchy and thugs will now be opportunistic, opportunistic and just take over your whole country and you now fall into absolute mayhem. You know, but the key, it's, it's, guys, it's, it's the reality. This, this, this is the reality of England. Like, so if someone asks me, is England a racist country? It's a difficult question. My answer will be, it depends where you are. If you're in London, oh no, London is cool. Yeah, you'll see some racism here and there, but London is cool. But if you now go to the countryside, you go to Leeds, Manchester, Sunderland, where there is not that much of a multicultural population, I'll tell you, yes, it is racist. <laughs> Bro, I remember one time, tell the story, so we went to paint bowling, so it was... Me, my brothers, my brother's best friend who is Indian. Like he's been his best friend for ages, like Indian. And um, another his friend who is from Somalia. And so one of my really good friends who's white, another of my brother's friends who's also white as well. So they were about, so three of us were, were, were black, one Indian, three or four that were white. And we, we and we, and with, and so we just, we just came out. This is just, just outside of London. You had stairs. Even from, from the pub, guys just staring at us like, take a step. So after paint paint bowling, we start walking, 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 the side of the road. A car comes towards us. The car stops. And the guy puts his head out the window and says, go home. And drives off. And then my brother's friend says, we are going home. <laughs> and we are going home. But that just showed you, 
we literally just stepped one foot outside of London and look at the racism that, that, that we received. So for England, it depends where you, where you live. Depending on the place you live, oh, Birmingham is cool. Birmingham is cool. London is, is cool. Bristol, I think it's pretty cool. Other places, Yorkshire, Leeds, Newcastle, Manchester, Sunderland. <laughs> so yeah, man. Um, but yeah, thugs. Complete and utter thugs. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not protesting for anything proper. They're, they're just thugs who just want to now vent their racial frustration. So it is what it is.